Hello folks, so it's about 11 p.m. right now. I'm still waiting for some clouds to go away before I can start imaging, but I'm gonna try an experiment. About 4 a.m. the moon is gonna be out and I wanna try and image it in color so I'll be prepared next time we have a lunar eclipse because last time I was out there holding my, my handheld Nikon camera with two de in, in two degrees Fahrenheit weather and freezing. It was a really good picture of the lunar eclipse but I'd rather control it from inside the house on one of these rigs. The only problem is uh, my two main rigs here are always in the middle of a deep sky object. So um, I, I don't want to have to take a camera off of them and put a color camera on. So I'm going to try something different. I'm going to see how the moon looks through my ZWO guide scope since this guide scope actually has a color camera attached to it, the ASI224MC. So I'm going to try and point to it at around 4 a.m and see if that's a viable option. I know it has a small camera sensor, so the resolution won't be great, but if I can just see it in color um, and it works, I, I think it might be, I, I think it might come in handy for the next time we have that lunar eclipse. Okay, so I am in this website called astronomy.tools, um, calculators and field of view. I'm gonna click on imaging mode. I wanna see how this, uh, if the moon does fit in my little guide scope. Um, let's see, the focal length of the guide scope is 280, the aperture is 60, and I'm going to select the camera here, ZWO ASI 224MC. All right, I think that's all I need. Oh, and I have to select the moon. All right, let's add to view. So it's a pretty good fit. There's uh, the field of view, this red box, and the moon fits nicely inside of it. It'll be interesting to see what it looks like. I've never actually tried to look at anything except guide stars through that, that setup there. So we'll see. Okay, so it's 4 a.m. and it was really hazy tonight. So um, I only had one rig operating and even that aborted earlier, I noticed. So, uh, but there's the, the full moon and uh, let's give this a shot. And I, I opened up Stellarium, and uh, yeah, that looks about right. And uh, it's pretty high, high enough. And I wanted to show you something. Everybody's been capturing pictures of Neowise, that comet. But I don't think I've got a shot at seeing it here. Uh, right now it's only about two degrees high. But if I wait a little longer, uh, let's see, about 4.30, uh, no, not 4.30. If I keep going, if I increase the minutes here, about 5 a.m. it will be over 10 degrees. Oh. Now about 10 to 5. I don't really have a view in my neighborhood that... Um, that low unless I walk down the block. I'm going to try anyway. We'll see how that goes. But let's, let's try the moon here. Uh, what do I need to do? Oh, I need to... Uh, here's the moon coordinates. The the right ascension. I'm on sky live here. Alright, let's plug these into my setup. All right, uh, let's close this. Framing mosaic wizard. Uh, let's see, let's just try M1 just to pull up the coordinates really quick on anything. Okay, that's the format of the coordinates I need. So the first one is, uh, let's see, 22, 39, 19. Change that to RA. 22, 39, 39, 19. Now let's plug in the deck. It says uh, minus 
14, 14, 28. All right. I'll save fetch. Now I'm going to um, play it solve on it, but it, it will fail because it won't find any stars. But um, that's okay. It'll, it'll get me to the, to the right area, I hope. Create. We'll call it moon. Moon. Okay. And I'm going to say center on that area. Let's see if the, the the rig is going to the right spot here. Okay, that's what I expected. All right. Let's see. Uh, I'm using EQ mod, okay. All right, so this is how it looks on uh, the Rasa. All right, now let's turn the, down the exposure here. All right, there's how it looks on the Rasa with my mono camera. Now, let's see uh, how it looks on my, my guide scope. Oh. There it is, there it is, there it is, okay. So let's see. Now going the wrong way. Change the resolution, okay, okay. Now I don't care if I'm probably not in focus, that's something I can fix later. Hey, so that how, there's how it looks in color. Well, it's, that's okay. If there was a lunar eclipse, I'm sure it would be in color. So now I'm looking at the moon through my guide scope. All right. I'm not worried about the fact that it's it's not that. Uh, it, I can always fix focus when the time comes. So that's it. My ASI 224MC is connected through my guide scope. I think this will do nicely if I ever have a, a lunar eclipse to capture. That's not too bad. Okay. I c I'll consider that a nut. I'll consider this a success for now. Alright, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you later.